I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she might turn what's up y'all this is 10 20 and awakenings i had already shuffled we in this bitch we on a roll okay all right so scorpio what's good we're gonna see what you need to know at this time we got the number five here, so a lot of y'all going through some major changes, you know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all binge watch me, so I like to do my best every time, okay? All right, so Scorpios, what's goody? I love you guys. Thank you so much for uh, fucking with me, watching my channel, donations, everything. I just want to tell you guys, thank you. All right, when it comes to abundance here, it is a lot of spiritual abundance coming in. You like, you like Ashley, what's spiritual? Is that financial? Like, <laughs> okay but not much money okay so if you wanted the details that's what it is it's a lot of spiritual in energy so what that means hug trees take off your shoes uh go outside get direct sunlight eating stuff for fruits it's the beginning stages of what financial stability does look like and you do have to do the groundwork everybody cannot skip this nobody can also playing 528 frequency when you go to sleep is really really good okay also listening to auto books audio books is really really good too but yeah okay now some of you guys in your previous lives if you want to get a past life reading with me you can do that y'all have um did vows of poverty okay said oh you know i vowed to have like community banks and not just work real hard and be great you know but just you know use my money work real hard and then give it to the whole community like all of us split this milk like you was a part of a community like that okay um yeah i'm not a part of this but y'all could have been okay seek karmic release for this okay so you gotta say you know the universe you just gotta say out loud universe any vows of broke cop poverty mindset that i had been in this life or previous i break that curse off of me and i allow all the abundance that has been held back for me to hit me like an avalanche of abundance that's really what you need to say okay especially if you feel like you come from a long line of broke people you know what i'm saying now when it comes from comes down to work you need to consider work that involves energy healing aromatherapy midwife okay rather than office work or computer work now for some of you guys y'all and y'all are dudes you like i ain't gonna be no midwife i don't do no aromatherapy but even though you a dude you could do things therapeutically like music playing music is therapeutic but you could do it in a different way where sometimes you play shit with 528 hertz in it so you're healing people instead of playing so many music with 440 hertz in it if you're a barber you a fucking counselor you a therapist if you're a barber you know what i'm saying you damn near listening to all the shit that's going on in the shop they sharing and exposing you know you are a counselor you are a therapist so you know doing the work that you have that has that healing hands brings you that aromatherapy but people who are counselors need to go home and have lavender have eucalyptus because you are being uh you sucking up everything you an empath you sucking up all these people drama and stuff you got to release it okay also just taking a bath with dead sea salt and um apple cider vinegar is great to just put your body on balance if you can take it as in a shot that's good too if you're a guy um, um, as far as travel goes, you may want to travel to a place, you know what I'm saying? That's like, you know, beach oriented. You feel like that's healing and that's good. If you will do, you want to go to the beach, you want to, you know, you don't want to bring no sand to the beach, but you just want to go. That's going to be really good. Um, you could be planning a trip to go to the beach or it's a cruise, but it will be successful. Um, staying home alone will be good too. So this is basically saying like if everybody going on a trip and you decided the last minute not to go, you could say, man, I don't want to do it. I got to do this. Staying home alone could be a great practice for you. You could be really happy once you're in that place by yourself. Okay. So something could happen where everybody's going to go in and at the last minute, something could change for you, but staying home might've been the best vacation that you ever did. You know, somebody just always around people and somebody just need to be alone. All right, so when it comes to your health, there's going to be a sudden positive change in your health. You're going to want to, 
eat more things that's high vibrational do more things that's high vibrational and spirit is just telling you go in that okay because it's going to put you in a, a daytime or a coherent meditation where you're going to be self-healing yourself and spending a lot of time doing the things that you love okay now when it comes to your family members you may seem like you lost them but they'll they'll suddenly be there again they'll suddenly have your back again they'll suddenly you know be better than what they were before it says family definitely differences will settle with time so something is going to be healing between you and your mom or you and your dad or you had a nasty ass falling out with your sister or your brother you like man you fucked up okay but some holiday some event could bring you guys back together which is going to bring you guys some balance even though there's still some differences you like you still fucking family though you know what i'm saying but it's still not enough being family is just never enough sometimes <laughs> okay you also got the future this situation that troubles you will be resolved and miracles will occur from it so there is a situation between you and somebody else and it's a lot of stress for you you know you think about it you want it in your life a lot but a lot of miracles is going to come out of this situation with you and this person so just know that even though it seems like a burden or you can't get everything you want it's going to be bomb in the, in the future let's see what song is going with this um for my scorpios what's up scorpios i love y'all man thank you guys for supporting my channel I'm so grateful. Okay, so you got Mariah Carey. We'll always be together. Okay, so yeah, there's something changing in your love life. You will never have nobody. Now you're going to be like, my buddy, my buddy. We belong together. I didn't even mean it when I said I didn't love you. So somebody could have pushed you away and they could have said that shit. And that shit was lie than a motherfucker. This person was capping like mug. And it's really just because, you know, this person don't like being hurt. The way that you was moving was too janky. They couldn't fuck with that shit. So they had to be like, nah, bro, you got to go on there over there and move janky with somebody else. But they ain't mean that. That shit they love you so much they love how you act they love how you move they loved how you stomp they love how you fart this person really cares about you um this person feel like they should have held on tight to you okay so even though you let this person go and you told them to take their ass down the street this person feel like damn i didn't even know you was gonna let me go like that man i should have held on tight to you i shouldn't have let you go you know i ain't know i was stupid so this could be somebody like learning or looking back in the past like damn scorpio when i had you like that i should have i should have treated you better you know i was stupid i was young i was dumb you know so somebody's gonna really look back and be like damn i just wish but it could be too late you could be a fucking trillionaire at this time you could be wealthy as fuck by the time they look back you like who chocolate blue you know you could be shocked at who the fuck you like i don't even remember who you are that i fucked you <laughs> okay so it could be confusing there's somebody you ain't got no kids with okay but you could have had a pregnancy scare with them because when i see the kid in reverse that does mean pregnancy scare for me but other people could be somebody else you also got main female ow god damn so you could hit yourself and be like that was your funny bone but wasn't shit funny about you hitting your bone god damn okay it didn't hurt me but i knew how it felt when it does hurt people but i didn't hit my funny bone so you could hit your toe or stump yourself in some kind of way somebody they says i treated you like an option and i'm sorry yeah somebody really felt dumb bro somebody felt real stupid they shouldn't have treated you like you was just somebody you know and this the person was disrespectful they kept doing this shit to you over and over again so you just was like fuck them all right whoever this is you just dismissed them and you let them the fuck go and they treated you so dumb they look back now and they like why did i do that you know somebody is just fine and sexy and handsome and wealthy and still kind of humble but they don't you don't have access to them anymore it says no one understands me like you do so this person had a strong bond with you y'all could have you know related over some kind of arts or some kind of education i honestly heard science okay or somebody could be in the science department you could be a professor and this person is like one of your colleagues you could be having sex with one of your colleagues it says no matter how hard i try not try my thoughts always lead me back to you sway back to you okay so no matter what it says um my thoughts always sway back to you, okay? So it's like people, this person will think about somebody else, be with somebody else, hanging out with somebody else, and then they go back and they're like, damn, I wonder what Scorpio doing, okay? So some always just be like, Scorpio wouldn't even do it like this, or Scorpio probably will do it like this. Whoever this is, they comparing everything to you, okay? Everything. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, damn, Scorpio probably do it this way, you know? So somebody is putting you as the standard, okay? I heard standard goal, okay so yeah somebody wants to retreat they want to go somewhere with you by themselves for a long time okay like where there's no interruptions they want to see you in different atmosphere maybe even in different um locations or something but somebody is thinking about like retreating with you and going somewhere by themselves oh they thinking about doing this shit very soon they want to be by and this is somebody who want to reconcile with you so this person did some shit behind your back but somebody wants to spend a long amount of time with you but they so scared they so scared like what if they do and they fuck up 
it's safe it's safe for you to love so somebody is scared to make love to you because they feel like what if they do it wrong and they're concerned about your religious factors like whatever you believe in is a big deal somebody has to relinquish their pride and the ego to come towards you okay because they're they're codependent on your energy but you're not codependent on this person's energy yeah the phone went off that gotta be true who scorpio who you got out here that's codependent on your energy like y'all y'all gotta be careful man okay uh and you gotta be careful with the spells that you put on somebody but i feel like this person like you you know they just want to make sure you like them because they feel like you got a lot of options they like, Damn, i'm uploading videos y'all i'm just trying to get them out here okay i don't know how long it's gonna take you to upload them but i gotta put them down okay all right so somebody feel like they're your soulmate okay uh but they also feel like you always have this power to cheat on them okay because maybe they feel like you real successful or you fine or something i heard i got the power but honestly y'all y'all are gonna fall in love with this person and what's gonna happen is you and this person have the same drive and determination this person's gonna get fans and followers just like you it's just gonna grow and the same fear that they have in you you're gonna grow to have this same fear in them too but you're gonna teach them how to manage it you know what i'm saying because y'all gotta work on your relationship you gotta still have that burning desire you gotta still make a motherfucker yearn for you and miss you you know what i'm saying that's how you keep them not really guessing but just wanting more of you because they don't have you every single day we got so many days you know what i mean you ain't got to talk to a motherfucker every goddamn hour of the day every second like that's some serious codependency issue shit okay all right so i love y'all and this is going to be the start of the next one okay silent wisdom bye y'all